Okay, so this is the third time recording this. I'm sorry. Um, I would have had it up faster, but well, here we are. Um, I goofed once a Monday. I don't know if you figured that out, but yep, I goofed. I popped this up. I'll explain later why I have to pop that up, but um, I wrote this down. That's just the wrong thing. It's Bayes' theorem. This is Bayes' theorem. We didn't want Bayes' theorem. Uh, if you want to look out and figure out what Bayes' theorem is, Bayes' theorem is really, um, I know it more of not just, not theorem-wise, because you can take, you can get a, a whole PhD on Bayes, Bayesian statistics. It's a whole PhD on just Bayes' theorem and his usage of this and how to think and blah, 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 blah. The think is not really part of the math degree. Um, but look it up. Thinking Bayesian or Bayesian thinking, you can look that up and see what we're talking about and what he's sort of known for today. But anyway, um, this is the formula. For whatever reason, I just passed it right up. That's the equation we wanted. That's the formula we wanted. And so this nonsense that I wrote up on the board on Monday, just delete it, erase it, scratch it off, whatever, get rid of it. Um, Doris stayed after, and uh, we went through it, and I just, like, it's right there. I don't know. I'm stupid. It's right there. Okay? Um, so I wrote it in pink here. We're going to refer to it a bunch um, when we go through this problem. And hopefully it only takes me about 15 minutes. But um, the first time I did, it took me 30, and somehow I'm not recording the sound. Did a second time. Same sort of thing. Hopefully this third time is a damn charm because, uh. Anyway, um, CBS News poll involved a nationwide random sample of 651 adults. Asked those adults about their party affiliation, whether Democrat, Republican, or not affiliated with either of those two parties, and their opinion of the, how the U.S. economy was changing, getting better, worse, or about the same. The results are shown below in the table. Um, this is not today. This is sometime in the past because... You can see Republicans believed at that time that the economy was about the same. Democrats felt it was getting worse, generally so, um, and the non-affiliated people were approximately the same between worse and same. Those two are relatively close, but if they lean slightly towards the worse. Uh, we really want to not put fractions here. We want to enter decimals, four decimal places. That's a picture, so my entering is not... Uh, I'm not able to enter them in there. So I'm actually not going to do the, the, the decimal versions. I'm just going to show you the fractions. Let me go through the problems. It'll save a little bit of time. OK. So what's the first question? What's the probability of drawing somebody's name randomly that is not affiliated with either, either of the parties? So none. What's the probability of none? So on my table that I've copied here, I've done a little bit of extra work. This column is added here. This column is added here. This column is added here. So I put total columns and total rows. This row is added here. This row is added here. This row is added here. And this 651 is the this stuff added together and or this stuff added together. It should match up. If it doesn't, we've done I've done something wrong. And I'm pretty proud of the fact that I did that in my head and was able to get that correct. Because sometimes they make errors. Um, Probability of affiliated with neither party. So that's everybody in this group, none, which that total is here. So the probability of that is 229 over 651. What's the probability of same? Probability of same is no longer that row, but in fact, this column. What's the probability of drawing somebody's name out of that group of people? Well, it would be this total, 281. I just messed that up. 281 divided by 651. Okay. Now, our first conditional probability question. Probability of same given none. According to our formula, that's probability of same and none divided by the probability of none. So we already know probability of none is that. So two, oops. Actually, let's do this. Scoot this over here. Probability of none is 229 over 651. That's this denominator. Probability of some, excuse me, same and none, probability of same and none, is the location or the group of people that are both, they believe that the economy is the same and they're not affiliated with any party. They have to have, to have those two characteristics at the same time. That's those 90 people. 
How many people total? 651. So this numerator is 90 over 651. If we're dividing fractions, you got a couple different sayings that you can grab onto if that's troublesome for you. But And the two of them would be, and they're both annoying for different reasons, but you pick something or sort something out. Um, when dividing fractions, don't ask why. Flip the second and multiply. And uh, keep switch flip. Keep the first fraction. Switch the operation from division to multiplication and flip this, the denominator. Um, keep switch flip. I don't like either of them. I just think of division as multiplication of the reciprocal. You can also think of multiplication as division by the reciprocal. They're just reciprocating and it works that way. So I'm going to choose to multiply with this instead, but I would multiply by its reciprocal. Note that 651 divided by 651 is 1, so we get 90 over 229. So that's how we would use the formula. I do not use the formula. Allah, uh, that's why I left. I, that's why I look it up. I just, it's just not in my head. Also, if I haven't told you, I can't memorize anything. I have to actually do it, use it, and then it stays there, or doesn't stay there in some cases. Um, when it comes to conditional probability, I think of it this way. When you're told this given part, given, not affiliated, then I already know that the person is drawn was from this subgroup. They're already from the non-affiliated group. I already know they're from there because it was given to me. I was told, hey, the person was selected was not affiliated. Okay, thanks. What's the probability of them being same? Well, now our probability changes. It's going to be 90 out of this 229 because it's the probability of same out of that subgroup of none. That's how we get to this. Okay? Definitely can use the formula. It'll work. But then you have to know the formula. Or you can logic it out the way I do it. We already know that that thing is true. We'll try it again here with this new, with this second one. What's the probability of none, not affiliated, given same? Formula-wise, that would be none given, excuse me, none and same. That's the same as same and none, by the way. Probability of same. And so equals, uh, that's going to be 90 over 651, because remember, this is the same group of folks, divided by probability of same. Now, probability of same, we already knew, because that's 281 over 651. Note the problem is trying to give you that information beforehand by asking for it. And again, we're multiplying fractions, so we just have to do this. Uh, 90 over 651, but this time multiplying times 651 over 281. 651 divided by 651 is 1, and I get 90 over 281. So it's more probable that you'll get the same if you know the person is in the none pile than it is to get someone in the none pile that after we already know that it, that they believe the economy is the same. Again, so how do I think of that in a logical way? If I'm told that the group, the person that comes from the group that if that believes the economy is the same, then I know that they're in this group of people here. Or if you want to look at this, I know that they're in this group. Come on, this group right here. They're in one of those three piles. Which three pile? I don't know. Okay, what pro what is the probability of them coming from the non-affiliated pile? Well, that's going to be 90 over the total for this group, which is this 281. And then the bottom one is asked so that we can be clear that these two things, same and none, and none and, excuse me, same given none and none given same, is not the same as none and same. That's what that bottom one is, none and same. But we already know that because we used it twice. That's 90 over the 651, okay? Hopefully that's helpful. Let's see if I record the sound.